Digital photography has come a long ways. Not only are cameras a lot better producing larger files with more pixels, but the quality of the pixels are better themselves. And so things like noise aren't as much of an issue as they used to be. But oftentimes when you edit the files, you'll see noise in them. So I want to show you how to effectively remove noise using Photoshop. So here we are in Photoshop, and our image looks pretty good. If I take my zoom tool and double click on it, still looks okay, even though it's a dark setting. But as we'll see in just a moment, as we begin to open it up, we're going to see some problems with the file. And to edit it, we're going to use Camera Raw. Now, if you're using a version of Photoshop before CC, if it's a raw file, it's just going to open in Camera Raw. If it's a non-raw file, remember, you need to train Photoshop to open the file. So you want to go into Photoshop, Preferences, File Handling, Camera Raw Preferences, and ask it to open JPEGs or TIFFs. I'm in CC here, so I'm just going to come up here to Filter, Camera Raw Filter. And we'll see that the problem is as soon as we start opening up the details and the shadows here, then I'm creating a lot of noise. There's a lot of noise hiding in this file. Now, as with sharpening, you want to make sure that you zoom in to at least 100%, maybe even 200% as I have here when we're editing noise. I'm going to come over to the same panel that I would sharpen for, and let's talk about the two types of noise that we have here. There's color noise, which in the black area was that sort of splotchy, blue, purple noise. And then there's the crunchier luminance noise. I'm going to show you how to get rid of both of those. The color noise, we can just wash that away. And you see the black area just gets cleaned up. And remarkably, we've even preserved the halo and the neon light here. Now with the luminance noise, you need to be a little bit more careful. Because you can get rid of it, but if you're going to get rid of all of it, the image is going to start to look a bit like a painting. So I'd go somewhere in between, move your detail slider to get more or less, and let me show you one last trick with this. There's actively removing the noise, and then there's hiding it. So if I back up and I look at this image, I can see we got rid of that distracting color noise and a lot of the luminance noise. But if I want to get rid of the rest, most of it's hiding in the shadows. So if I take the black slider and pull that down, I can hide a lot of the noise that's in there. So a combination of noise reduction and using the right sliders will give you a great result. Back here in Photoshop, I'm just going to move back, and that looks a lot better. Now, there are two other areas where you can reduce noise that are really important, image size and sharpening. Let's take a look at how those work. So in image size, if I were to come in here to preserve details, I can see that I can make my image larger, and I can also reduce noise. This is a really similar logic to what we saw in Camera Raw. Again, if you're prior to CC, you want to do this in Camera Raw. If you're CC or later, you can do this in the Image Size dialog. You'll find similar controls in Smart Sharpen. In addition to all of the sharpening controls, you also have a nice Reduce Noise slider in here. OK, so those are a lot of great ways to get rid of noise. There is one place that you would think you'd get rid of noise in Photoshop that you don't want to use. And that's up here in Filter, Noise, Reduce Noise. I know that sounds like that'd be a great spot to go, and years ago it was, but the software has evolved with the cameras, and the best place to do it is either Camera Raw, Smart Sharpen, or Image Size. I hope that helps out.